They're super playful with each other. They love to wrestle. Chloe was a little more clingy with us. Very gentle and laid back. She loves to sunbathe. Chip was a typical boy. He never had to sit still, running around, fighting, playing. Chip loved to steal Chloe's food. He would come and just take it out of her hand, run away. They sleep together and then curl up in the nest together. They even play with toys. We got a call from a friend and he had found baby squirrels crawling around in the yard. Chip had one eye open. Chloe didn't have her eyes open at all. They were just under five weeks old when we found them. We didn't actually find a nest. I knew that the mother was nowhere to be found. So we decided to raise them ourselves here to rehab them so they could return to the wild. Letting them go on their own was quite nerve wracking. I definitely lost some sleep. I just wasn't sure that they were going to be able to take care of themselves. We did what's called a soft release. After they reached about 9 or 10 weeks of age, we gradually started letting them go out for the day. The first day, Chip took us on a three-hour wild goose chase. He just saw the trees and he was off. We tried to follow him all over the neighborhood. We were really nervous, but as soon as it got dark and he just knew it was time to go home, I try not to worry as much now. <laughs> I figure they know what they're doing being squirrels. Just a call once in a while, hey mom, I'm okay. <laughs> That'd be nice. The first day that Chloe got out, she sniffed around for about 10 minutes and then went straight back into the porch. She was just wanting her comfy bed. It did take a little bit longer for her to leave the nest. We left the porch door open. We found one or two other squirrels in there. Chip made some friends with some wild squirrels and would hang out with them. And then Chloe made her own friends. Chip stopped returning at night a few days before Chloe did. There were times when we didn't see them for weeks. And sometimes we would come home and find Chloe on the porch uh, waiting for dinner. The motion sensor on our front porch sets off an alarm so we know someone's at the door. We would hear it and there's Chloe waiting for her breakfast. <laughs> Chloe learned how to activate the sensor. She also taught some of the neighborhood squirrels. Girl Bella. And now we have probably over 10 wild squirrels that visit our house on a daily basis. critters are my children and see that they've grown up and now have kids of their own. I guess I'm a rural grandma.